Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G here and I have one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, my oldest son. And we talk a lot about, I guess, single black men's um, opinions on single moms. And I thought it would be good to have a conversation with him about how being raised by a single mother has ruined his life. So guys, subscribe to my channel and uh, let's have a little chat. Everybody grown until it's time to communicate, apologize, or tell the truth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, you and I, we talk a lot. Um, we talk all the time about a lot of different stuff. Yeah. But I've always been curious about, like, you and your friends in your mid to late 20s um, dating out here in this world. Most of your friends have been raised by single moms, right? Right. Um, is it mostly your black friends? No. I mean, I have a good mix of friends. So, like, usually the minority friends, yes. Yeah, not necessarily black. But... Okay. So, black, Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Et cetera. Yeah. Like, most of my white homies have two-parent households. Actually, I do have... Uh, What's that? I don't know. Neighbors are bad or something. There is Casey or something. <laughs> um, I do have one black home. Is he the only one with the two parents? Are they still together? He's adopted. By he he was adopted by black parents or uh, white white parents. Uh huh. Okay, so that's a whole different that's yeah, a whole different thing. I, I don't know. So, but what I do think is, or what I thought is, I know some of your your white friends. They shaking the thing. They <laughs> some of your white friends, their parents were together up until like they were older, and yeah, then they got and divorced. Then they broke up, yeah. Right. So it like, seemed like some of them stay together for, for the kids. For the kids, right? Yeah. So that's a whole nother dynamic as well. No, yeah, definitely. So when you and your friends talk about single mothers what 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 is it or do you guys even talk about single mothers like that is it like a topic of conversation when you're dating uh yes and no like you know just being our age we do run into like women with kids and stuff so most of the consensus is that nobody wants to date a single mother so uh not really for any reason specific it's like mostly they just don't want to have to deal with the kid so mm. yeah like they don't want it to be a limiting factor in dating somebody. Yeah, exactly. Is that because like I know you are are planning on being child free. Yeah. Um is that because the majority of your friends feel the same? No, I think some of my friends want kids and like family and all that stuff. So we were talking to one of your friends today. <laughs> And you take what he say for real. No, no, no. I just want to say, because this was a mess. Okay. <laughs> so when we talk about, he was raised by a single mom and he basically was saying he wanted to have kids as a um, kind of in a retaliatory way against another woman. Like whoever he, whoever <sighs> he gets, you know, impregnated he doesn't plan on sticking around and it's retaliatory it's like it's like some point of revenge he feels like because he was raised by a single mother i, I mean that was the that was kind of the way he was putting it right basically yeah. and i told him i was like i hope if this happens i hope if some girl is dumb enough to get impregnated by you I hope that she gives it to you. I hope that she's unfit in some sort of way and you have to deal with it. And he was just like, you know, she's not going to be crackhead, but she's going to be at least dumb enough to let him impregnate her. I wanted to slap him. Yeah. So he like, so when we talk about like guys being angry with their moms, they're angry with their moms and they're trying to take it out on somebody who has nothing to do with their situation. Basically. What is that? I don't know. Because they can't take it out on their mom. Especially when they're in the position of like, you live in her house, you eat her, like the food she cooks, you know, like she pays all the bills. So like... these dudes are, they're literally being taken care of by their mothers in, in adulthood mm -hmm. and they're still angry yeah. with their mom. Yeah. Because... 
Is it what is like because the father didn't they blame the mother for the yeah. father not I staying? guess maybe they feel like they're missing something or like they feel like certain aspects of like things could have been better, should have been better. I don't know exactly what, but like I don't know. I don't feel like we share a lot of the same few points on that type of thing. So what do you think was different in our like great relationship as a mom and son versus some of your friends, like now that you guys have like the ability to talk about it. Mm -hmm. What do you think is different in how our relationship was and your like your upbringing versus theirs? Yeah, um, I don't know. Honestly, like amongst my friends, you were pretty much the cool mom. Like I, people still say that now. Like you know, just the things like you know, everybody would come to our house. I had like all the video games. I was always doing some like random stuff in hump, like in the park, you know, like making like swords and bow and arrows and like it. I think because um, I flew your friends out to yeah, Seattle exactly, for your golden birthday to go snowboarding and shit. Like they had never been snowboarding before, let alone on a real mountain before. And like I went to like the top of the mountain like first run. They were like, yeah, dude, like we're sticking to the bunny hill. Like I don't like even know how you got us to come out here for this shit. But like, um, I enjoyed I enjoyed um, doing those things with you guys. Yeah, no, and like I enjoyed like being able to do that stuff. And like I don't know, it just kind of always felt like. I don't know you you were just a cool mom like we always had the cool stuff going on like even just with like in the block parties in like wicker park and stuff like everybody knew you everybody like by association knows me and like even just walking around now like people like you know like yo what's up like oh i know your mom like how's your mom doing i'm like yeah she's fine <laughs> like so um I think we just had a different sense of community and like communication you also let me do a fair amount of stuff that like my friends, you know, just like their parents would never basically like whether they couldn't trust them, whether like, you know, like what was something that you feel like you had more freedom to do? Um, even just be on the Internet, honestly, like playing video games and stuff like you always like kind of let me choose like what it was I wanted to do, even with like sports and stuff and like when I like lied and didn't go to football or whatever, like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say what your punishment was for that? I <laughs> remember you had to like. It was write a fiction story yeah, since you were a liar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then then, but I made it into a movie. Let me do that. Yeah. Yeah. So like, even like the punishment was creative. It sucked at the time. Like I just remember like, oh, I don't want to do this. But then like, I don't know, it came down to something else I really wanted to do. I was like, all right, let's get this done. I had my <laughs> friends come over, like they helped me with like, we shot like a Mortal Kombat movie and stuff. Like, I don't know, like when other my, my other friends' parents like punished them or whatever, it was just like, kind of like, I don't know, you can't hang out or you can't go outside or something. Mm. Like, so you like the, the meditation punishments? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. That's interesting. At the time, did, though, did you like my mom is just fuck fucking weird? Yeah, because I was like, man, like, because you didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I really didn't want to do it. But looking back on it, I was like, I guess it wasn't that bad. Like, you had to go to yoga for a while. Yeah, the <laughs> yoga for a while. I still, you know, <laughs> was like not enjoying that, but. When I tell my friends that type of stuff, like, they're like, oh, your mom's so cool. Like, she forced you to do yoga. I wish my mom forced me to do yoga when I was, like, 11 or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I guess it, like, helped out in retrospect. But, like, you know, hindsight. Interesting. Yeah, because you were pissed. It wasn't <laughs> like you were like, oh, this is great. I get to do yoga instead of, I don't know, whatever else. Yeah. <laughs> thing. <laughs> so... I, I don't know. So it's curious. So why wouldn't you date a single mother? Just because you want, specifically? yeah, just because you want to be child free. I like, I wouldn't say I would never date a single mom. Like, uh, it's definitely been like an encounter, like, you know, like a random encounter in life a couple times so far. And it's just like, I don't know, even like, I, like I've just never really thought about it like the kid 
is kind of like a factor mostly just because like i don't feel like i'm ready to really be a dad and like i know there are single moms that are capable of like doing that type of thing on their own without like the need of you know a male presence or whatever but at the same time like i don't you feel a pressure to try and yeah, be you know, a parent. Exactly. Like, you know, if, like, it continues, that's going to come up eventually. It's like, I don't know. I, I'm not ready to be a parent, so. So do you think. Like, just out of respect, I would really, you know. Want to, like, be half-assed about it. Exactly. Growing up, like, the idea of dating and everything, because you're pretty monogamous right now. Um, you don't date. Like, you find a girl, you're like, okay, I like this girl, do you like me, girl? And then you're like, that's it. <laughs> so I like things simple. <laughs> so, do you think that either, do you have a fear of not being able to live up to a high expectation of parenting? Or do you have a fear of, like, just fucking it all up and having to leave and not being there for a child like what's your um i mean i don't know honestly i think i'd be a relatively decent parent i just don't think i'm ready for that type of thing in life like, you're like when you want to commit to it yeah so you have told me since i can't remember probably like you were 10 or 12 years old yeah. that you wanted to not have kids no yeah and that's still the same sentiment like just because like I don't know, like, I feel like I have good parenting skills, but that does not mean I want to be a parent. Right. So. so, do you think, like, what don't you want about it? Is it the responsibility? Just, what do you think? It's like a never-ending puppy. <laughs> <laughs> You're my never-ending puppy? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm just not ready for that right now. Like, because I, I, I guess I don't, I guess I agree, like, parenting doesn't stop at a certain age. Yeah. And, you know, do you feel like I'm too involved in your life at no, all? No, definitely not. Like, I think it's weird that, like, my friend's parents aren't as involved in their life as, like, you know, you are with me type thing. So, uh, I don't know, like, I appreciate it for sure. Because so, I'd rather not the other end. You've never felt like, um, I don't know, because like one of the things that people are like, well, single mothers and their sons are too intertwined, right? Mm -hmm. And it hinders other relationships. Have any of your girlfriends ever felt that way about me? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, because like that's just a different relationship. Like, you can't really compare the two. Like, you know, you're my mom, that's my girlfriend. If like, it's really weird for one to be threatened by the other in any sort of way i agree because i would say that outside of very late i don't i don't really um offer you relationship advice i don't really ask you like what's happening with that situation yeah. you know i kind of like if you tell me something you tell me something if you don't you don't yeah. um i feel like you know I don't even give you my opinion about your girlfriends. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just say, I think she's nice. If you have to, I'm happy. <laughs> like, it's what, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I would say, um, I don't know. I just feel like that's your thing. Your, your, um, your relationships are your relationships. One of the things that you kind of said, um, not being ready for to be a father. How do you feel about the fact that I had a child when somebody else perhaps was not ready to be a father and therefore was potentially not in your life? I mean, that's like just a decision that was made. I don't feel any type of way about it. Like, <coughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I've never honestly even really thought about that from like that perspective because mm -hmm. it's like, you know after a certain point there's a consensus like you're gonna have the child and you know the other party either is or isn't gonna be around and you can continue to choose to do what you're gonna do so i mean they're all just choices i can never be upset at choices right especially like i don't know i wouldn't have been born <laughs> so, like, so you're happy that you got here yeah for sure do you feel like some of your friends like their their relationships with their moms they feel like they forced their fathers were forced to be a father and like that's why they're angry at their moms i think it was just the thing of like 
again, like, choices, some of them are just, like, poor choices. Like, I think, because even my friends, like, with their dads kind of, like, intermittently in their life, I don't feel like their moms, per se, forced them to be a dad because it's not like they lived with them. It's, like, at most, like, they were probably paying child support, just upset about the fact that they had to pay child support. Mm -hmm. So, like, I mean, again, it's choices, like, you choose to have a kid, you choose to, you know, do whatever with whoever, like, knowing the potential uh, consequences. So you make sure, because you want to be child-free, you yeah. make sure you yeah. don't do something that is going to put you in the potential position. Exactly. And so, so that, and you feel like that's your responsibility. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, I mean, not necessarily, like, solely my responsibility, but, like, it's definitely, uh, you know, part of my responsibility whereas because like I don't know I don't want kids so I kind of have to take the measures to ensure that I don't have kids right mm -hmm. now or like you know ever whenever who knows because I don't know like I just don't really imagine myself getting to the point where it's like all right I'm gonna have kids <laughs> like I just don't see why I would make that choice <laughs> Because <laughs> you're like, I want to pay a lot of money for something and dedicate. Do you not want to dedicate yourself to something like that? Do you feel like I was too dedicated? Was, like, dad do too much? No, definitely not. Because, I mean, I think you, like, no, maybe that's what it is. Seeing how, like, how much you did, and I was like, damn, like, if I'm going to be a parent, I got to be like that? Like, whew, I need to, you know, take it back and, like... When I'm like, you know, a millionaire and have the time or whatever, like, I just have the time and the resources to do that type of thing, like, then I'll do it. Because, like, I don't want to do anything less than, like, what I saw. Right. So, why why do you think that some of these dudes have this, like, retaliation type of attitude at, at women for what they feel like their mothers did to them? Because they can't fight them. Because they can't fight their mom. Yeah. But they can't do the things like I I I don't think how many dudes realize they end up like their dads, regardless of like you know like they say they don't want to end up like their dad, like they it's all these things, but they do the same thing to women that their dads essentially did to them like they don't connect the dots so like i don't know if it's just like a delusion thing or like misplaced anger so it's interesting because a lot of these guys and i agree with you they end up being just like their dads but <laughs> a lot of these guys are doing this for the approval of other men like to love a woman seems like a problem for a lot of them and I know, like, when I see you with your girlfriends, you're pretty attentive. Like, I know, like, we've been running around doing stuff together. You'll Uber eats her some food, you know, um, make sure she got something to eat. Or, like, we were at um, a little party and her sister fell and hurt her ankle. And he went walking off into the trail, comes back with a big stick to help her, <laughs> like, to give her, like, a crutch or something. I mean, it's just like these things that you do in a very thoughtful way. Um, nobody asked you to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so why do you think that is? Um, why it's like why do you think there are these guys who are trying to um, a, like get a male approval versus like you who seems to be like what these dudes would be like? Oh, he's simping or something. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The male approval thing, I just always thought it's a little gay. But like so they like dudes they like dudes sexually yeah like to some extent and like <laughs> again delusional don't realize it or something but it's like i don't know i was taught to take care of like the women around me especially like uh not even like i don't know like it doesn't feel weird to me it doesn't like make me think like oh i'm like uh so who taught you or, that if there wasn't a man around <laughs> do you think like the because when i so you know i dated and there were only like two people 
that <laughs> you that that was really around you, right? Yeah. One of them, you just well, like you didn't even realize that, was that like, I was what? actually dating. <laughs> like I don't know, right? Like that that one just because thinking back on it now, I was like, oh my god, it makes so much sense. But like <laughs> while it was happening, I was just like, nah, I don't know. That's her friend, you know. So, like, I was never overtly any sort of way with somebody, like, no. I, in, in front of you, right? No. And so, except for, like, the one guy, we, we all lived together, right? Uh-huh. And then, so it was a different situation. But none of the guys around me really, I never, they never tried to be your daddy. You no. know what I mean? Not really. And no, not. how do you feel or how do you think I was able to draw those lines with people? Huh. Or did you do you think that matters when you think about it? I mean, I think it definitely matters to an extent. Like, because after a certain point, you're gonna either choose to integrate or you know, like keep it at a distance or whatever choices you're gonna make with that situation. But like, I feel like your vetting process for people, like, I, you've never introduced me to like a bad person in my entire life. So, I just like. I could tell from a very young age, I was like, yeah, like, you know, people they I know I'm sure my mom's probably dating somebody, but like, <laughs> if they're worth me meeting them, I will meet them. Right. And that's just kind of how I took it. And do you feel like the people that you met were, were at least all right? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, like, uh, I wouldn't be as interested in most of the stuff I'm interested in now without like, you know. Some of their influence. Yeah, exactly. So. I definitely appreciate, you know, the. It definitely took thought and care behind, you know, who you were gonna bring around. Do you think it mattered that I dated like non-black men? No, I don't think so. Like, I did never... you, did you, like your friends or anybody? Because you know, like black dudes sometimes like yeah. when black women date non-black men. Like, did any of your friends even ever say anything, or was it? No, the only person that really made me think about that type of thing was grandma, <laughs> and like. I don't know. Grandma's gonna say what grandma says. So yeah, like, she says some wild shit. Exactly. And like, you know, she used to ask me, she's like, you don't like black girls? Like, and like, my friends would ask me, like, you know, apparently I don't like black women or whatever, but it's also just like, I've dated black women and I like, you know, I think everybody's the same. Like, I don't pick and choose really. It's just kind of like, black people don't really like the the weird black kid and I, I was the weird black kid so like i just assumed you were the weird black kid dude but you know what also with you you don't approach yeah no i so usually never <laughs> if if you saw a black girl that you liked she was not going to approach you uh-huh. more than likely most of the mostly all of the girls that you dated approached you yeah, for sure. You don't approach people. For sure. So I think that's probably the main reason why. And I don't really mm-hmm. think you don't really date white girls. Um, you've ha- I would say that most of the well, most of the women I know you dated have been brown. But um I don't think it would matter. Yeah, no. <laughs> Especially no. since you ain't having kids, I won't be like, I want a brown baby. Exactly. They'll still be brown. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think that, like, how do your other friends, though, how do they think about their mothers having dated? Or are there any opinions? Or do you guys ever talk about that sort of thing? Um. Yeah. I just, like, they, we don't really talk about it in the sense of, like, we, like, talk about it. But, like, just being around and stuff like and like when people are drunk or like you know something's happening in the home life like you you get to hear some of that stuff and like um it's just like a lot of anger it's usually just like a tantrum honestly like oh like uh i've heard you know like oh my mom's a hoe she used to sleep around i've heard like uh, my mom's an idiot like she's, oh she God. dates all these stupid ass dudes like um so they don't even think like their mom could redeem themselves by getting them a good step stepdaddy. No, yeah, no, like. But why do they define their mothers through the male choices that she's made? What do you mean? Like they're angry. My mom's so dumb because she keeps um, dating these dumbass dudes. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Why? Why do they only define her through? 
she's dated or they know that she's dated? Because they're upset about their own situation and um I don't know. Like But why don't they I mean it's I would think and I don't know, why don't they see like okay, my mom keeps choosing these dumbass dudes, my mm. daddy must have been a dumbass dude. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like she can't do no better. She keep repeating a process. Oh no, yeah, and like they'll take it as that, like you know they. But why say, aren't like, they mad at their daddies for being dumbasses? I think it's just like they are mad at their dads, but also like their dads aren't around, so like. So they're taking out double anger on their mothers. Exactly, you know, like the dad's absent, like one bro's dad's like you know different state, one bro's dad's fucking wheelchair lifts, who God knows where I don't know, like. It's just like they they don't see them, so like they're not around to like you know so give them that anger. yeah that that energy, and even if they are like you know they'll go see them for like a week or something, and then like you know something will happen, they'll come back, you're like man eh, fuck that nigga, like you like <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> like there's problems oh, I've never had <laughs> so problems. so why okay because we talk about that. Um, the first time you saw your dad was at a paternity test and i started that process because you when you started school you started asking me about a father and you were like i want to know who this dude is when we got to i don't know if you remember like what happened we got to the paternity test and we weren't supposed to be there at the same time but you know um after that something totally changed you want to tell tell that story yeah it was like i don't remember too much of it like i remember being there and kind of like sitting and waiting and then i remember he like came up to you and like said something and then i remember he like looked at me like he i don't know he's a big dude i don't even really remember what he looks like but he was like i just remember him like super vividly like asking me like yo what's your name and then like i don't even remember if i responded after that but like i got this like such feeling of just disgust like utter disgust and i was like yeah i don't know i don't like this guy so yeah because it's... after that when we got you were like totally silent and i was like not sure how to talk to you about it i wasn't sure what you're feeling i wanted to see if you were gonna say anything i think you were like eight or nine years old and um we got home and i was like so you know you saw your father i know it was weird like what do you think and you were like are you sure that's him <laughs> that kind of was like what <laughs> and i was like what and i was like yeah you're like you're like i don't know it doesn't really look like the guy i saw in the picture like so i think that you had attached a different idea and then whatever uh -huh. you felt and so i was like okay and then you're like yeah i never want to see that guy again and i was like you might change your mind you like you're having some feelings and like but you have literally never asked me about him again i think i've asked you yeah, you've asked like me a times. yeah are, are you still feel that way does it like something change and you're like why are you even talking to me about this <laughs> <laughs> and then, like walk out of the room <laughs> so like you never felt like you were missing out no definitely not do you think it was because like we were always doing stuff in our community like yeah like we were always doing stuff you were always like encouraging me to like do something you know like i don't know whether it was like a sport or like an art form or, like guitar or some shit like how do you think like the, the community because like we built like i came here we like and built a community right yeah. of people like how do you think that influenced your upbringing um, or childhood i mean a fair amount because i spent a lot of time like basically hanging out with uh I don't know they they were like my family like you essentially created a a family of like non-blood people like and it kind of like it showed me how people can work together like you know to i don't know create something that feels nice i guess yeah because like, you know it's funny and i think I, I don't know how much of the story you knew but like your second mom mm -hmm. i met her because of a guy i was dating um or mess I, <laughs> so it wasn't serious but and when I, could, I, I could tell that y'all had dated or something like it was just like i couldn't really tell like how though 
Okay. Yeah. Like because you never met him before, like the context of the family, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so. Um, but he's flirty, so maybe I just assumed, like. He, he's flirty with everybody. Yeah, right? he's flirty with everybody. But he's also messed around with several of his sister's friends. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Like, you know, she may have met them first, but anyway. Mm -hmm. he, um, and I didn't find that out until much later. So after the fact, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, we have so much in common. Hi, lady. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fact that y'all can, like, even, like, joke and laugh about that type of thing, like... I don't know, like, I don't think my friend's mom's, like, could be in those situations. So it would be, like, fighting or, like, That's crazy. some ignorant shit, so. Because, like, there was, I, I don't know, but, and the, the, the crazy thing is about this is, like, you have traveled with him and his family. <laughs> you have gone to other countries with them. Yeah. Um, and this is still somebody, like, to this day that... If you call and be like, I'm coming to town, you could go. And he'd be like, I got a floor or couch or something that you can sleep on. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, we're st like, th this is still your community. They're, they're still your community. You're still very much involved in everybody's life. Like, your best friend is your second mom's son, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just amazing. And, like, one of the things that I was, like, so... I don't know that warms my heart is like when you and you and him his best friend were on the phone talking <laughs> and you're like i love you <laughs> and it wasn't like one of those things where it's like yo bro love you it was like i love you <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is i've heard him say to you like when i was like you know on the yeah. other side you know and he, you're the and you weren't there so then it sounds exactly the same <laughs> Because <laughs> with him, it got to the point where, like, I don't know, we were getting mad at each other when we weren't saying it. So, <laughs> like, oh my god! But do you know how how many guys like can't do that, or like they feel? emasculated or because i mean like look at you sometimes people mistake you for like gay right yeah. because you wear a lot of jewelry you have like have your nails painted you wear you don't have your hello kitty watch on today but <laughs> um like you're secure in the balance of yourself right yeah, for sure because i mean just like aesthetically like you know things don't really mean things unless you interpret them a certain way mm -hmm. so like I don't know, I'm also like a bigger dude, so even if people have thoughts like, you know, he's gay or he's zesty or like, you know, <laughs> like whatever, you know, like, even if they choose to come up and talk to me, like, they're not going to try anything, one, and then two, I feel like I'm generally a pretty cool person, and then also once you hear me talk, I'm very, like, bro, so I'm kind of like a super dude. So Which you're like, super you get along with pretty yeah. much everybody and like people don't expect like the like the dude to come out of me they always like expect me to have like some like high pitch voice or something so, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're sassy yeah they think i'm sassy i'm still i mean i've been called sassy but i don't, I don't think i'm sassy <laughs> it doesn't i don't know i have to think about that i feel like there may have been a few times where you're you have some yeah. sass or something, but um, so I will say this before we end. Um, I really appreciate like the person you become, like the man you're developing into. And I mean, I am happy to have been a part of you becoming who you are. And it was not always easy. And we have had our struggles at different points in time in our relationship. Um, but it's always been a joy to be your mommy. Yeah. I've, uh, I've had a good time. Like, I wouldn't ask for any other mom, any other situation. Aww. So, I love you. I love you. Can I have a hug? <laughs> All right, guys. I want to cry. I miss my baby. Um, subscribe to my channel. And uh, ciao, ciao for now.